Hello and welcome to your practice to calm the chaos. It's a little cold. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. Okay, my hands are bricks. Literally bricks. I don't even feel them, I don't feel them at all. Oh, I love doing this, but it is tough. Grand Rising, what a day it is. We got the sun out, out to play, which there's nothing better than that. You gotta get the morning sunlight in the eyes, set that circadian rhythm. Every morning, non-negotiable. Get my feet in the sand. Do something uncomfortable first thing in the morning. Tell my mind that I'm in control. It's a powerful way to start the day. Oh my god. Oh. So much pain. So much pain. Wow. Into a career. And how do we become number one at the thing we do? Listening to Diary of a CEO with Stephen Bartlett and Casey Neistat. Super good podcast so far. Love listening to podcasts. Love developing the mindset whenever I can, especially when I'm cooking. So just made breakfast. I have four pasture-raised eggs, arugula, sourdough bread, avocado, raw butter, and olive oil. So a great breakfast. Also raw cheese in there too, so we're, we're doing it. I'm gonna eat this. Today is a work, work, work day, mainly client work. For those of you that don't know, I work with clients helping build up their YouTube channels through video editing. I also manage channels, so I'll help manage it and upload the videos for them, kind of just taking all of those tasks off their plate. That's what I'm doing at this moment in time. Things change, but Right now, I'm really enjoying that, and I'm also enjoying it because I'm working on building my own channel, building my own audience. I'm gonna eat this, all organic, all good stuff. Actually, the eggs are not organic. I couldn't find pasture-raised organic eggs, so I just got the pasture-raised ones, because if I had a choice between organic or pasture-raised, I'm choosing pasture-raised. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this meal. Right there. Enjoy. So on a walk break, that's what I like doing, man. I get clear headed when I go on two walks during my work day. So those can be like 20 minute walks. Just helps me clear my head, breaks up the day a little bit, makes me feel good. So I started doing this more recently because I would do it on and off. You just get lazy, that's all it is. It's not even laziness, you just get so sucked into your work that it's almost like hard to, pa hard to peel away from it, but it'll help in massive ways. So just been working away, it was freezing in that ocean this morning. Like I, I was concerned about my, my well-being, my health there. I, I got out, hands could not feel them. They felt like bricks. And when I say bricks, it's like this certain feeling that you get, you barely can feel them. It just hurts, it's just straight pain for, it was probably painful for almost an hour, which is a long time. But I was, my body was heating up. That's why it's so powerful for your metabolism. All that good stuff. Your body just heats up like crazy. Also the whoop. I noticed that my strain goes way up when I go on the ice plunge or in the ocean in the winter. It's exhilarating, but it's also taxing on the body. Anyways, back at the crib. Gonna get back in there and work some more. Get that client work done. Make some beautiful projects happen. Hello there. How are you? This is a great spot, man. I love being here. I love working. I love getting it done. I love progressing because I feel like I'm progressing, especially lately, speaking to the camera, speaking to you. It's always fun kind of just documenting my journey and looking back on all this, seeing where I'm at maybe a year later, two years later when I'm still documenting is a crazy thought. So enough of that. What I'm doing right now, time blocking. This has completely changed like everything for me and I started doing it recently but actually doing it the right way, in my opinion, the right way. So I've been working for an hour. I'll set a task for a client 
and I work on their stuff for one hour. And then I move to the next client, work on their stuff for an hour. But in between those hours, I get up, I move my body, I make sure to get the blood flowing because what happens when you're sedentary? Blood is not moving as efficiently to your brain, your blood's not moving around your body, but when you go on a walk, that starts to get the blood moving, therefore the blood goes to the brain, and then you have better thoughts, and in return you do better work. So time blocking is an amazing strategy that I've been doing. Right now this time block is reaching out to potential people to work with. I'm working on helping creators build their YouTube channel through video editing, through content. So what I'll handle is the thumbnail, I'll handle the content ideation, I'll handle the video editing. So pretty much from the beginning to the end, I'm there making it happen. If I haven't talked about it much, that is pretty much what I do at this moment in time. We'll see where I'm at a year later. You just never know what happens, what you get into next. But that is what I'm doing right now. So I'm sending out emails. I'm pretty much giving value, telling them how I can help them. And I'll tell you what, most of the opportunities I've gotten have taken months, if not a year to happen. You think you just get stuff like this, right? You get it so quick. It's usually not the case. It usually doesn't fall into your lap and I've realized that over time. What I make sure to do is stay top of mind. I like reaching out to people every single day, make it a priority to reach out to one person per day. So lead with value, that's what I've noticed helps a lot. That is actually how I got a recent client. I just kept leading with value. I showed them what I could do, they loved it, and now we're working together. I'm done talking, I need to just focus on sending these emails because I'm in my time block right now. Just to drive the point home, these things do take time. You have to nurture these people and you have to provide value, lead with value, and eventually they'll be like, all right, I'll give this person a shot. Okay. Talk soon. Okay, so got the morning work done. It's almost 1 p.m., which means I'm gonna hit a gym session. I work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday right now. Um, that's been working best for my body, just in terms of recovering from some little tweaks, things like that. I'm gonna leave soon just downloading some footage for the next video I'm gonna be posting on this channel. And then while that's downloading, I'm gonna go hit the gym. So let's go get a workout in and have some fun. It's like my favorite part of the day. Phone started jumping, what a day. So they got I need it, now I can't afford to wait. I just had a fan hit me up from Kuwait. Told him this would happen, now we not a minute late. Seen him down bad, now they tryna hate Same one try to hit me for the raise Got the mail, now they coming with a place Check the numbers, fam, I swear I'm getting paid I'm a Don, just like the Perrier It's one time when I'm looking at a face On the low, like I'm pushing up the pace Told him come down and I'll meet him at a gate Got a check and I bought myself a place They get some money and they blow it on, babe I don't flex, but I'm pushing all the weight Told them all, that's why I got it's what it takes I'm just started jumping, what a day So they got I need it, now I can't afford to wait I just had a fan hit me up from Kuwait Told them this would happen, now we not a minute late All right, that was a full body workout. Feels solid. Those are the healing frequencies that I'm playing on the headphones. They play music in there that's, to be frank with you, they play trash music in that gym. The lyrics in those songs are just like, any main, like most mainstream songs, the lyrics are just not anything I wanna be putting in the, uh, the mind. That's just how I am, I treat my mind like a fortress. If you wanna be great, you gotta block off from the songs talking about I don't even have to explain it, you, you hear the lyrics nowadays, so. I either am listening to like frequencies, meditation music in the gym, or sometimes some old school rap, which is usually pretty inspirational, or just like crazy tribal music that's just like making me feel like a Viking. Those are my usual options, so. Anyways, I'm gonna get some stuff from Whole Foods, not much at all, because I'm leaving a Western Mass tomorrow for the holidays, and I'm probably gonna grocery shop over there at the farm and everything, so. We'll get a few things for tonight, and that's about it. So let's get it rolling. Alrighty, alrighty, here we go. Okay, 
doesn't have it, like it's not ringing or something? I don't know. Good morning. It is a new day. Yesterday, went to the gym, got back, really just worked, had food, worked more at night because I wanted to get a video out, and that's about it. Went to bed pretty early. So it's a new day today. Of course, I'm starting it. I'm gonna get in the ocean. I leave to Western Mass later on today, so this is the last ocean dip I have for a couple days. I almost, I gotta pay attention on the road. It's like perfect conditions right now. It's nothing new. We know what to expect. The mind knows what to expect. It's still gonna say, no, I don't wanna go in. I wanna be comfy. But we don't listen to that. We go in regardless. Wow! Oh. Wow! Oh. Wow! Wow! Feel really good. Just shivering, just cold, which is a good thing. I always say it, man, I love to get uncomfortable in the morning. And it has to be something with the cold. It has to be a cold plunge, it has to be a cold shower, going outside shirtless, barefoot, whatever it is, I like to get uncomfortable because we've lost touch of getting uncomfortable. We turn on the heat just like I have on right now, which I'm turning off now. We're so used to just having everything at our fingertips, being able to turn it on when we get cold, being able to turn on the AC when we get warm. So I make it a priority to get cold in the morning even when I don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna go inside, probably make some food, get ready to go. And that is what a full day in my life looks like. I'm super big on my daily routine, making sure I'm putting in the proper work to get to where I wanna be, but also focusing on my health, my well-being, to make sure I feel and look my best. So, as always, I appreciate you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below to keep following along on this journey of self-development, of growth, growing together, and enjoying life. Enjoy the week, keep crushing it. I'll see you in the next one.